section 15c, question number 2, page 369. The question asks us to find dy by dx by using the product rule. So we're given for part a, y equals x squared quantity 2x minus 1. So I'll just go ahead and find the derivative of that by using the product rule. So I'll take the, by identifying the two functions, I'll take the derivative of the first function, multiply by the second, and then I will add the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second, and then simplify a little bit. So the derivative of the first is 2x, multiply that by 2x minus 1, and then I'll add the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second, which is just 2, and then what I can do is I can simplify this a little bit. I'm not sure if the answers in the back of the book actually do uh, simplify a little bit, but I'll just go that extra step in case you need to. So I'll expand this in so I get 4x squared minus 2x, and then I get plus 2x squared, and so then I end up getting 6x squared minus 2x is the final answer for that first derivative. Part B is given as y equals 4x quantity 2x plus 1 all cubed. Again, I'll find dy by dx as instructed by using the product rule. So the derivative of 4x is just 4 and we multiply by the second second function which is 2x plus 1 all cubed. Then I will add the first function as it is again and I will take the derivative of the second function so I take that 3 down in front leave the function inside as it is and subtract 1 from the exponent to give me 2 and I'll go inside and take the derivative of 2x plus 1 and that will give me 2. I'll bring this 2 with the 3, because this is all multiplied together, so it's to multiply 2 times 3 times 4. So I get 4 quantity 2x plus 1 all cubed plus 24x times 2x plus 1 squared. I don't really feel like uh, multiplying these together, but what I could do maybe is factor something out here a little bit. Maybe I could factor out this 2x plus 1 all squared and maybe a 4. So let's do that. Factor out 4 quantity 2x plus 1 squared and we're left with 2x plus 1 from this first term and then plus 6x and then just tidy up inside here. So I'll get 4 quantity 2x plus 1 all squared multiplied by 8x plus 1. And that's where I'll stop for that question. Part C. Y is given as x squared multiplied by the root of 3 minus x. I'll change this root into exponent form, so I'll have x squared times 3 minus x to the exponent 1 half. And now do the product rule. Find the gradient function dy by dx. So I'll take the derivative of the first function, which is x squared, and get 2x, multiply by the second function, 3 minus x to the 1 half. Then I will add the first function multiplied, I'll change that to a square bracket, multiplied by, bring that 1 half down in front leave the function on the inside as it is, and then I'll subtract one, one from the one half to get negative one half, and then I'll go inside and take the derivative of inside the bracket there so I get negative one. And then I'll tidy up some of this stuff here and see what, um, what results. So I get two x times um, three minus x to the one half, that negative one times a half gives me negative one half, x squared quantity 3 minus x to the negative 1 half. Again, sometimes you have to factor things out and tidy up a little bit, sometimes you don't. I will just to kind of show you this. Kind of leaves a nice little package at the end. So I'll factor out the common factor with the lowest exponent. And then I've got an x here. I can maybe factor out 
a one half also, just to kind of tidy things up a little bit. So I'll go one half x, three minus x to the negative one half. So when I divide two by a half, I end up multiplying by two, so I end up getting four. And then I divide three minus x to the one half by three minus x to the negative one half, and I'm left with three minus x. And then when I divide this negative one half x squared by a half x, I'll be left with x minus x. And then when I divide this three minus x to the negative one half by itself, it just leaves me with one. So we're just left with that. I'll now multiply this in and simplify a little bit more, so I get one half x. Um, three minus x to the negative one half, and I'll deal with this in the next line. And so I get 12 minus 4x minus x. Now I'll drop this down. See the 2 is already in the denominator, so I'll drop that down also. 3 minus x to the negative 1 half. I'll return this to the uh, square root form. And the, one, the negative root uh, changes that, puts it down into the denominator. So this x stays on top. And then I'll simplify in here, so I get 12 minus 5x. And then in the denominator, that 2 from the 1 half goes down below. And then this 3 minus x to the 1 half becomes the root of 3 minus x, which is also in the denominator because of that negative exponent.